Every once in a while, you may find a situation where you already have an object that is shaped like a mask that you want to create on another object. There's a handy little plugin that can make this happen, but it comes with a few limitations. Let's see how to do it. Okay, so in our scene, you can see I have this skull and we have also got this object with a logo on it. Okay, so it's basically uh, like a vending uh, text. Okay. Uh, which looks like a logo so we can use that to stamp a mask on the skull so the plugin which uh that we are i'm talking about you can find this in the z plugin okay and inside the z plugin you will see over here we have intersection master so we will just go over here intersection master and it it's there but before this can work we actually have the two objects combined into one sub tool so right now they are not as a one sub tool they are you know two separate sub tools so we have to combine them uh, like into one sub tool so now if we go and see under the geometry uh, here okay so what we find over here is that we uh, do not have any subdivision but if we go to the skull okay uh i think both of them does not uh, like uh, both of them do not have any kind of a subdivision have uh, like subdivision so that's okay because if there is any subdivision then this uh plugin will not work so you have to make sure both of them they should not uh have any sort of a subdivision over here so if i will go to skull okay let me alt click over here so there is no subdivision for the skull and there is no subdivision for the, the the brand logo or whatever the logo this is and also as a limitation it has to be run on objects that are close that don't have any holes in them but let's see a way around this because we do have some holes over here but i'm not going to apply this on the holes itself so now both of them have to be uh, like merged otherwise this plugin will not work so what i will do i will just go to the skull uh, sub tool here go to merge merge down press ok you can always uh, split it back so it's okay to do the, uh, to press just ok or always ok until next restart now i will go to the z plugin here and let's see what happens if i click on this button create insertion mask so now you can see it is creating and if i zoom in a bit over here okay so you might happen to see right where that overlap happens there is some masking but it's because of the overlapping it does not show but maybe on the edges you can see that now it will be more easier if i will uh, split uh, these two okay so i will just go to split and split two parts okay i will press ok here now it is split it now you can see it has split it these uh the logo like you know uh more into parts but uh, we don't uh, need that so i will just click this eye icon over here so i can see and you can see that there is a clear nice looking mask over here which is created out of that shit well so but uh it is inverted which is very easy to in, uh, like you know uh invert back so i will just press control key here and then press on over here and you can see that our mask is there now so what we can do is that we can convert this to look like this is engraved a bit sort like a branding iron made you know usually on uh, some of these objects so it looks like you just have pressed a hot uh, iron rod over it to engrave this mask so what we will do is that first of all it's too sharp so i can go in the masking option over here somewhere where is the masking mask 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 here it's the masking and what i will do here is that just i will blur this mask a bit 
Okay, let's click it here. Oh, this is too much. Let me sharpen this and see what happens. So I think this is better. Okay. So this is what I will get right now. So it uh, looks more like this. Or what I can do here is that I can just sharpen it and then maybe grow it a little, little bit. So or shrink it. I think the better will be let me inverse it and then blur it a bit okay and then i can grow the mask and then sharpen the mask back so or what you know what simple what i will do here is that uh just blur this one a bit and then i can shrink it and then maybe sharpen this so and then I think this will be better. So this is what we got right now. Now, what I want to do over here to uh, make it look like that is a uh, kind of an iron engraved thing, I can go into deformation. So we will get into deformation later on, but in the deformation, you find all kind of deformations here. Suppose I want to uh, apply a deformation over here on this mask, only the inflate one. So I can go to the inflate and I can apply a negative inflate so it will engrave inverse. I, otherwise it will inflate outwards, which really I don't want it. I just want to inflate inwards. Okay, once it is done, so I can also smooth some edges here. Okay, before removing the mask. So it will do that. And then uh, what I will do, I will just control drag over here to remove the mask. And I can again with a very I will press shift key for the soft brush, reduce the intensity of the shop soft brush and a little bit more. And I will start a too high still. And also what I can do is that instead of uh do applying directly, I will press S and reduce the size of it. And you can see that it is kind of smoothing this out. So this is it. This is how you can create some of these effects using the, uh, you know, your existing objects that you want to work on. So you can see now we can go up and down through all these subdivision. Uh, again, I can press press Control D over here. Okay, so because I'm done, so I can uh, subdivide this as I'm done with all my uh, like settings. I can press Control D to subdivide it. So don't worry, we will go to the subdivision later on. But this is how you can do the subdivision and all those that kind of thing. So okay, so granted, this is not a feature that I use all the time, but every once in a while, it does come in very handy. So I hope you uh, now know how you can create masks through existing objects. And using that uh, plugin, which is Intersection Masker, okay, and just try it, do like different experiments with this. So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, lesson, and please uh, click on the like button if you enjoyed it, and if you have any question, leave in the comment section. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe it now, and also click on the bell icon because I will be uploading more and more lessons soon. And hopefully, as soon these all lessons and chapters are finished, we will you will be you know starting with the ZBrush like a pro, and you just need to practice on it so you can even do like high detail models and everything. So guys, thanks a lot for supporting me, and please uh, keep on sharing my uh, videos on your social media account so I can get more and more subscriber. Uh, just shout give me a shout out okay so you know shout out for my channel on your social media account so i can get more subscribers so everyone thanks a lot and we'll meet in the next lesson take care